Hello and welcome to another episode of Between Two Pints. I'm your host, Rob, and with me today is Matthew Campbell. Wait, is it? No, that's right. All right. Yeah, that's my name. We are here to talk about a short film you did last weekend called yep. Supermarket Action. Pretty close. A grocery Store Action Movie. I'm so sorry. I do like that title, though. That's pretty good, too. But Grocery Store Action Movie. Yeah. So how long do you think it will be? Well, it's going to be around uh, 13 minutes long. 13 minutes long. Yeah. And it's really interesting. Now, we, we're in Vancouver, Canada right now, and it's actually part of a, like a local film contest it called is. Crazy Eights. It is. It's part of the Crazy Eights competition, which is one of the most widely respected film competitions in Canada. And uh, they take like 200 entries and they narrow it down to six people. And once you make it to the final six, you're considered a winner. There's no first, third, second. I'll put that out of order just for uh, yeah, fun. No. Um, <laughs> but so then they give you, you know, you all get a thousand bucks. You get post-production services for color and sound. You get gear, you get camera. And then they say, go at it. And then you've got eight days to make it. So three days to shoot it and then five days in post. And then you got to hand it in and, and that's it. That's awesome. Yeah. And even just like what I saw on set, because now I was lucky enough. We, we got you on for the Nightwing promo with Brady, and that was awesome. But you actually took me up on my offer to come and do set stills. Hell yeah, you. man. And we're going to throw some of those over. We're talking, so there might be an unusually large amount of images over this episode. But it's that's because I took them, and I'm yeah. proud of them. The best set stills I've ever had. Like, so good. So good. You, There's I, so many moments in I, I got to ask one question. You jumped up on a cashier, like, checkout line, and were, like, shooting with the Movi. Yes. Were you just in the moment or were you kind of posing? Um, no, that that was me. I kind of forget that you're there. Yeah, I used you, a really big zoom lens. So yeah. Like, no, no, that's that's just me. Like, dude, I, I hang off the back of motorbikes on rollerblades. I yeah. get down, I, I will do a roller stunt and say, I need you to land this way and just get, I get on the floor. I'm very, very hands on. And I, the way it, I see it, I don't want to make anybody do anything that I'm not willing to do. Yeah. So I got, I got, yeah, I just get up there. Here's how we want to do it. Okay, hand me the camera. Let's look at this. And it felt it's, like that. I just was wondering because like it was epic. And I mean, you got to just shoot what you got to shoot because you guys have limited, you don't have a magical studio no. where it's a fake grocery store. It's actually like you have to like, it's a real grocery yeah. store. Yeah. So. I mean, if you see me get up on the till and I'm holding the camera and then I look off of you and I'm like blue steel or something. Okay. Then I'm doing something. <laughs> but for the most part, I'm just like, let's get up here. Let's look at this. This will work. I'm just, I'm very, very hands on. Cool. Now, let's actually talk about the Crazy Eights because yep. you said it was the most respect, one of the more respected or most respected film competitions in Canada. But like, even just seeing what you, what I saw on your shoot, yeah. uh, I, I've also heard about it from other friends like Ryan Adamoyo, who's been another guest, but yeah. they, they are a huge community building contest in Vancouver. And we're kind of a destination filming city. I'm yeah. not saying we don't have an indie film scene, but it's very insular like there's lots of small groups making amazing things and there's there's larger groups too but uh, i feel like crazy eights brings a lot of things together it does it really does and it gives uh, a a lot of opportunity to uh newer inexperienced filmmakers as well like a lot of these people are you know maybe haven't done a big short before or they're fresh out of film school you know and that's kind of the thing you know we've, we've done a little bit of stuff but we still have this great opportunity but a lot of people like it's kind of like whoa you know 1700 people go we're at the gala last year that's a lot of people and a lot of them are, are film professionals and producers and people from around here that you know really respect what they're doing to bring indie film to vancouver well and 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 we're going to talk about this later but it's very it's very much the attitude of like community filmmaking where totally. i see a lot of posts online where it talks about people are like oh well you know i don't want to do this for free and i won't do that but like that's part of being the community is like like coming out and doing set stills for your buddy's short film because like heck why not like wow fuck you're like on the cash register with the movie like pointing down like <laughs> like i know the movie's sick man yeah it's, and i've seen some of the footage you've shown me some of the footage yeah. like this this short film is gonna be sick it's uh, we're super stoked super proud of it and and that actually leads into my next question what did you enjoy the most what was the most fun for you we'll talk about what you, know you... What? the most yeah okay the most fun for me was watching peter and chris work from the peter and chris show uh, so it's uh peter carlone and chris wilson they're award-winning Canadian comedians. They've written for Just for Laughs. They do sketch comedy all across Canada. And, like, you know, this is my first real working with established comedians. And, like, it was so much fun on set because it, everyone was like, are you nervous about this project, all this stuff? And I was like, man, I've got two guys who've done this skit as a radio play and, and live. And they know what makes it funny. And I'm like, I just got to shoot them. But again, they were really super collaborative, and I'd kind of suggest things. We change things up and add gags. 
But like to sit there on set and be like, okay, and action. And then Peter's like slipping all over the aisle and just like full on giving it 150%. And the crew's all standing there trying not to laugh. Like it was just, it was amazing watching such talented comedians bring so much to the table and do it over and over again. Every take was a little different. And I just, I loved it. Every, so we've got badass stunts that people are super stoked to watch and be a part of. And then you've got comedians that are just cracking the coup up the entire day because their performances are so on point. I, I loved working with them. And I think we've we've definitely got more projects lined up that we want to shoot because there was such a good collaborative effort between the three of us that we never stepped on each other's toes and we just helped make the product that much better. And I saw that. I like Even just getting to be on set, I, I was really regretful that uh, even just for me, I didn't get to come to the second two days of your shoot because like there was this really positive vibe which you get on certain sets where like, like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're around crafty. We're like having our little snacks and it's like, somebody's like, oh, you know, we like, I got to go check. Like they might be onto my scene. And it's just this, this anticipation that you have this momentum that things yeah. are getting done. We talked about what you enjoyed the most. Now, mm -hmm. like the crazy eights, I think they're awesome. They're local. They're yeah. Vancouver. They do a lot. Yeah. They bring a lot to the community, but mm -hmm. like, what did you bring? What are you most proud of? In terms of, of this project, what I brought to the table, I felt was like, we wanted to pay homage to you know, a bunch of different action stereotypes. And I think we did that with our shots. And I mean, Byron Cobman as our DOP, like just nailed so many difficult shots that I was really impressed we nailed them that fast. And, you know, we kind of went through like a little bit of the Michael Bay into the Fast and Furious into the 24 style. And those were the homages you mentioned. Those were, those were the homages. But like just stylistically, you know, super proud that we managed to combine action and comedy. And, I, you know, I've shot little comedy skits but with such talent like this and to still be like, hey, this might be funny in the middle of this action scene. And they're like, oh, yeah. And then to see it work was like super proud that we got stylish shots with they're funny and then managed to also come together and be like, what do you think about this gag? And they'd be like, yeah, let's do that with this action and the comedy. So we're both combining one gag together between the two. Instead of like, here's action, action, action. Here's comedy, comedy, comedy. We're like, here's action, here's comedy, here's action, comedy in a single moment. Well, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, hot, I, hot fuzz, beautiful. And now we got to roll on to the last thing. Now you you did Nightwing, and I feel like one of the things you brought to the Crazy Eights short film that you did grocery store action movie, grocery film store, and movie. You were there. Grocery you were there. store it action was like ninety five percent. So like stunts, that's yeah. your thing. How would you make this a feature? You have sixty a, seconds. I've got so many talented friends that are stunt performers, and they're like, dude, let's shoot this. Like they fight choreograph on arrow and they just want to push the boundaries and they work on all the big shows and like we just want to do sh stuff with you um to make it into a feature would be really it, it would be fun but it'd be like how do we extend this beyond like the 14 minute deadline he's got to get home before the hipsters arrive and right. have everything they need um so i think we would have to definitely raise the stakes We'd have to find something else above and beyond and put more obstacles in his way right. to stop him, whether it's inside the grocery store, outside the grocery store, you know, but it, it would be cool. And, but there'd be a lot of discussion to actually make that work. We're, we got to wrap it up. We were drinking the uh, Parallel 49 craft lager today. We're, we're not hipsters. No. This is a delicious lager. It's, it's light. actually pretty good. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'll buy some. I, I, well, and if you want to hold up your can for your thing, um, Okay. Actually, there's beer left in these, too. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. That? So th this is actually very reminiscent, their logo of this uh, craft but lager. This is the East, East Van, Van Cross. Yeah. They have this weird cross on, like, Night Street. I don't know. It, it weirded the hell out of me. But anyways, thanks for joining me today on this episode of Between Two Pines, Matt. It was really Super awesome. Stoked. Yeah, it was really awesome talking to you, and it was really great getting to stop by your set. Like, the vibe... I'm not surprised. Like, after interviewing you for Nightwing, I'm not really surprised there was a super positive vibe and it was an exciting place to be. Always keep it positive. You have to, man. Yeah. You got people coming out volunteering for three days night shoots. Yeah. You have to be happy. Yeah. And, and that's the way you respect everyone. You make them feel like, you know, they've got a, a voice and everyone had a good time. So, but yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching. And probably, will, will this be available online? Will we be able to put a link below? I'm not sure how it works with Crazy Eights. Um, I think they probably hold on to it for a year for Festival CBC and selling it and hopefully making some money off it, which I've never done before. So yeah. that could be awesome. But hey, we, I will keep this updated. And in the comments below, there will be links to the website or somewhere where you can bug the Crazy Eights and tell them, hey, I want to see this. 
Yeah. We'll get this down there. And if not, in a year, hopefully it will be online. Totally. And we're on Facebook at the Grocery Store Grocery Store Action Movie. You can find our page, find our group, hit me up, add me, Matthew Campbell. I, 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 I want people to like it. And you should check it out. And I know, like, you and Stacey, are, I've done some Twitches. Yeah. Like gaming. Uh, yeah, we've You're done some gamer. online gaming. I swear a lot. It's Defense great. of the Ancients. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, drink along with us. May, leave some random comments about games you like, whatever. Talk about the Crazy Eights. Talk about short films. That's right. We're done. Awesome. <laughs> Change the battery pack. <laughs> We're definitely done. <laughs> All right. Did that just do that? <laughs>